thee and the woman and between thy seed. You're saying that, Adam, there's going to be some lot of conflict between your seed. And God says from now on here and, and that there's going to be some, some problems and it's going to bruise your head and, and, and your heel. In other words, he's saying sometimes the worst trouble that we may experience doesn't come from outside the family. It comes from inside the family. Those who are closest to you the most are the ones that sometimes will reap the most hurt and harm upon you. I'm just keeping it real. Somebody know that, that it's the ones in your own house that can be the ones that cause you the most pain and will bruise your head and will bruise your heel. And he said, woman, your sorrow going conception and thou shalt bring forth children then. And all of these things. And he said, Adam, you're going to have to do some work. It ain't going to be easy. He said, cursed is the ground. And he said, you're going to be able to have to go out and do some things and work. And the sweat of your brow and, and all of this, he says, because you've eaten it. And death now enters by by Adam, one man death entered into the world because of his disobedience. And, and verse 24 of that chapter that God drove them out of the garden. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you look, you just look at that and you and, and you read the text and it didn't say that, that, that they, they left the garden. No. But God drove them out from the garden. And place them in a place to the east of the garden, east of the garden, outside of the garden. And, and God had a flaming sword that turned every day to keep them away Amen. from that tree of life. Because God said, You had already been there and, and, and you disobeyed. And God said, But you won't get an opportunity because I'm going to place the flaming sword. You won't have an opportunity to do it again. You won't be able to go back and eat from that tree that I told you not to. But I tell you that when God calls your name, you know that you're in trouble as he did in this text. But we ought to accept the responsibility, my brothers and sisters, of what we may do and what we may have done, that God will forgive us if we're just and willing to ask him. For God will forgive us and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. We can't blame nobody else but ourselves. Like the song said, that if you die in your sins and your soul be lost, it's nobody's fault but your own because he offers salvation to everyone. Then he said that if you will believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, thou shalt be saved. And I don't know about nobody else, but I'm so glad the Lord Jesus offers salvation for a sinner, a wretch like me and like you and I. That though we are sinners, we can be saved only by the grace of God. Right. Because in us there is no good thing. No good but I'm so glad that God when we accept him as our Savior he imputes unto us his righteousness. We are justified and sanctified. He gives us a new standard. Today if you're here we ask you to come as you hear the voice of the Lord this morning and we speak to your heart because God still speaks to hearts and minds today. God says and I've created you. I've created you for good works. For you are my sheep and I am your shepherd. If you will allow me, I will make you to lie down in green pastures. I'll lead you beside the still waters. I'll restore your soul. Sometimes we just need our soul restored. Sometimes when we're going through the troubles and the battles of life, all of your energy may be drained. But thanks be to God, he restores souls today. If you're here today, he said, though your sins may be a scholar, he says, I'm able to wash and make you white as snow. The Lord knows where you are, so you might as well just come on and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, here I come. I, I want to accept you as my Savior. I want to live for you. I want to become a part of the church. I want to do things. I want to work for you, God. I, I want to serve you all the days of my life because I realize that time is winding up. I realize that the days that are gone, I don't know. I know about them, but the days that are here, I have no idea. 
And you don't know what condition that you may be in before you leave here. And we just say to you, say, by waiting later, no, this is the opportunity. This is the day. And if you hear the voice of the Lord speaking to you this morning, we ask you to come. We ask you to come right now while the blood is running warm in your veins. If you hear today. Lord, it's me, oh Lord. I come sadly before you, Lord, and say, come on. I need you, Lord, in my life. I, I need you, Lord, to renew my soul. I need you, God, to give me a new determination. I need you, Lord, to help me to walk with you day by day. I need you, Lord, because I can't make it by myself. I need you for Satan is busy. Just order myself, Lord. Yeah.